Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a video using all of my April Glam Bag uh, products from Ipsy. I posted a makeup look on Instagram when I was just playing around with some of the stuff before I went to work one day and everyone really seemed to like it so I figured I'd film a video and this is kind of putting like making a look using everything that you that you get. I've gotten, this is I think my third Ipsy bag, yeah my third Ipsy bag. And I will say not every month you get something that you can actually use like everything in a look. But this this month I was really lucky and I got pretty much everything I could ask for for a makeup look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. Um, so I'm going to start off with my Ultra Light Face Lotion from Lather. It's a non-greasy everyday moisturizer. I've been using this. I don't like it. Um, it smells like vinyl. And it kind of burned my skin when I put it on. Just a little bit. Like, it doesn't irritate it. Like, there's no redness or anything. And I'm not breaking out from it. So I don't know what the burning sensation is from. But it's definitely not one of my favorite. Definitely not something I will be purchasing. Which, yeah. It smells like a straight up baby doll head. That's the only thing that I can compare it to. I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. The, it feels great on. Besides this, like, burning sensation I get. <laughs> but other than that, it's just not something... I'll use it until it's gone, but I'm not going to repurchase it. The next step in this is I'm going to use my Stila One Step Correct Primer. This is almost gone. I think I have, like, maybe two or three... Like, maybe three uses out of it. Maybe. <laughs> um, I liked this primer. I don't think it does a lot for my particular type of redness. I have rosacea. So, it's definitely not something that necessarily takes away the amount of redness that I kind of need, need it to take away. But, it worked. I will probably try something different when I run out of that. But, I liked it. It was a good, for mild, mild redness, it, it was good. And then on top of that, because I have noticed that I have larger pores now, I'm going to take my Too Faced Primed and Pureless Primed and Poreless Pure, because that's not a tongue tie or, or anything. I really like this. I heard about it when Alta was doing their 21 Days of Beauty. And I wanted to go get it, but I wasn't, by the time I got there, they were already gone. I really like this primer. Definitely something I think I will repurchase. Once I'm, sorry my leg itches. <laughs> once I'm done with it. But it has a very silicone-y feel to it. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit um, Professionals, except for this is literally white. It, it, there's no color at all to it. So I'm just putting that where I have bigger pores, which is through my nose and around like the sides of my nose, on my chin, and on the top of my forehead. I don't have big pores everywhere, so I don't feel the need to put this everywhere on my face. But it just blurs out my pores nicely. And I like it. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer from Benefit. And I do something a little unconventional with this since I put eyeshadow on the bottom part of my lid. Or my, my lower lash line. I put it all the way down into here. And if you have watched any of, if you'd watched any of my other videos, you know that I put it down here too. But I just pat that in real quick. And right down here. Very simple. I really like this. It actually helps doing it this way. I've noticed that my concealer doesn't crease. And I really like that. It makes my concealer last literally all day. And I use um, Maybelline's Master Conceal. And I had a problem when I first bought it with creasing literally like a few minutes after I applied it to my face. So putting a prime, my eyeshadow primer on where I put my concealer actually helps my concealer last longer. So I really love this for that purpose too. And it makes the eyeshadow stay. So I put eyeshadow down there too. Okay. And to start the eyeshadow look, I'm going to go in with my Naked Basics by Urban Decay. 
And I'm just going to take Naked 2 right there. I'm going to take that on. This is an e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. Just a soft, kind of dense brush. I'm going to dip that in there. And I'm just going, let me zoom you guys. And I'm just going to put it in my crease. Because I have slightly hooded eyes, I don't have a necessarily defined crease. So I like to kind of create one with a darker shade. And this is just a really pretty cool tone brown that does a really nice job. I use this for every makeup. Like if I'm using like a single eyeshadow or I'm just doing something basic or whatever and I don't have like a transition color that I really like, I'll grab this. It's an amazing palette for that. Or it's an amazing color for that. And then for the lid color, I'm going to go in with this Nude nude Dude by The Balm. It's a little single eyeshadow. And this is the eyeshadow called Flirty. Now when I did a video on my Ipsy unboxing or however you want to call it, I thought this was a brown. And I thought it was a brown when I first applied it to my eyes. It is not a brown. It is a very beautiful color, but it is not a brown. <laughs> It is almost like a purple, and I love it. Don't get me wrong, I was just completely shocked when I applied it to my eyelids for the first time. So I'm just taking this on a Ulta Professionals Slant Dome Eyeshadow Brush. I love this eyeshadow brush. I use it for all of my, my lid colors. It is amazing. The one thing about this eyeshadow color is you really do have to build it up. It's beautiful, but you do have to build it up a little bit. At least I have to. And see, it's just a beautiful, beautiful purple color. Back in with my blending brush and just kind of blend out the harsh line that my eyeshadow may have created because I want it to seem like one seamless and seamless look. And then go back in with this and kind of touch up. And then the same thing to the other eye. And there's the eyeshadow look. Just simple, easy, literally like two colors. Three if you want to count the highlight. It's beautiful. I love it. The one thing that does help, I noticed with this eyeshadow, is if you just take a little bit with your finger and just pat it on there, it kind of gives more of a more color payoff. So that's the eyeshadow look. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I am almost out of this. It's it's kind of bittersweet. I liked this foundation, but I'm definitely going to try something new when I go to repurchase a foundation. I'm just going to squirt out a little bit on my fingers and just kind of dot it around my face. I start in my nose because I need the most coverage around my nose. Because that's where the majority of my redness is, is in the center of my face. And I go down to my chin. And I just start, I always apply it to my forehead last because I have like literally nothing up there to cover. And I'm just going to go in with a damp beauty blender and just start bouncing it around my face. I found that this was the best way to apply this foundation. It is a full cover, a medium to full coverage foundation. So... If you don't need medium to full coverage, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it. Um, and it is a hydrating formula, but I found if I apply it with a brush, it actually stuck to my dry patches because I have normal, normal dry and com slightly combination in my T-zone. And it stuck, I have dry patches like along my cheeks and stuff, and it stuck to my dry patches. 
So I wasn't too pleased with that and it looked really cakey. So I think the best way to apply this foundation is with a beauty blender or like a dupe for a beauty blender. Whatever you have would work as long as the damp sponge I think would work really well. And then I just take like another like half a pump and I just go back and I apply a little bit more on my nose because I have so much redness there and on my cheeks. And then just kind of apply it where I think I need a little extra coverage. Next I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. And I apply this really easily. I just squirt a little bit out onto my fingertips and just dab it on under my eyes and blend it out with my fingers. I found I like a lot of coverage and even, this, even though this is high coverage to me if I apply it with a beauty blender it shears out a little too much. I have really bad under eye circles so I need something that's literally like heavy heavy duty and if I apply it with a brush it looks a tad too cakey for my liking. So I just really like to use my fingers. I feel like my body heat warms it up a lot and makes it easier to apply. Next I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to take this banana shade right here on a on an e.l.f. blush brush. Please excuse my face brushes. My brushes need to be cleaned desperately and that's actually what I'm doing after this video. But I'm just going to apply that banana shade to set my concealer and kind of brighten up because I use a shade that matches my skin tone and my foundation. I don't use a brighter shade. I need to add a little bit more life or light back to that section of my face. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my foundation. I know a lot of people don't necessarily like to set their foundation, but mine tends to move. I wear mine for like 12 hours in a day. Like I put it on and it does not come off until I'm ready to crawl into bed and I know I'm done for the night. So I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. This is number one in translucent. And I just take this on my IT Cosmetics powder wand and I swirl that around and I dab. And I just press it into my face because if you swirl you can actually move your foundation and you'll have swirl patches on your face. So I pat at first until I get product down to set my foundation. And I just go with a little extra and kind of swirl it around. One thing I do not like about this foundation is it feels sticky until you use a setting spray with it. Like your face feels tacky. It's one of the reasons I'm not too keen on repurchasing this foundation. Alright, and then I'm going to go back in with my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm not going to contour today, I'm just going to bronze. So I'm just going to go in with this shade. I think that's called Java. Don't hold me to that though. And I'm just going to take it on this No Name Powder Brush that I have like destroyed. And I'm just going to take it along my cheek, under my cheekbones. My temples. And onto my forehead. I so I'm going to go in with my blush. And this is the one that I got in my Ipsy bag. It's in Tango. I do not know how to pronounce that name. So there you go. And I'm just going to take it on a Luxie 504 brush that I got in my February Ipsy bag. And this is very pigmented. Like, let me see if I can show you. That's just like two swipes. It is super pigmented. So you need a light hand with this. So I literally just like tap twice and then I dust off the rest of it. And since I have a rounder face, I don't put a lot of blush on my apples of my cheeks. I just sort of hold my brush like this and I just sort of go in a straight line back towards my hairline. And it just blends very nicely and you add a little color to the tops of your cheeks, but not a lot to draw attention. It again slims down your face a lot. And I just do it to the other side. If you ever apply too much blush to like one side and not enough to the other, just take your powder brush again. Like, 
take your powder brush again and just kind of like dab and it'll tone down your blush a little bit for you too. And then I'm going to go in with my highlight and this is the highlight that I've been obsessed with since I bought. And it is the MAC Minimize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It is amazing. It is gorgeous. I don't know how I lived without this product. <laughs> I love it. I don't think I would have ever spent $32 on it. Well, I would have, but that's because I have a problem. But I found it at a store for 20% off, and I'm completely obsessed. Ooh, I do need to tone that up, down that blush a little bit more. It just gives you, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, it gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow. I feel like this would be beautiful for prom, for, um for weddings, for any kind of special event, it's just gorgeous. And I kind of go a little crazy with this highlighter. I put it like literally everywhere on my face. I like a dewy finish. <laughs> like yeah, it's, it's pretty gorgeous. You can see it right there. It's a beautiful champagne-y gold highlight. And it's also gorgeous as an eyeshadow. I used it as an eyeshadow one day and I loved it. <laughs> it was amazing. So I did forget one step. I'm going to go back with my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm going to go in with this color here. And I'm going to take it on my Naked 3 brush. And I'm just going to take it on this, like, paddle side. And I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. I have a big nose that I don't like. So I contour the crap out of it. <laughs> Every chance I can get. Unless I'm doing, like, a natural makeup look. But again, this step is totally optional. I mean, I have always hated my nose, so when I found nose contouring, I was like, yay! <laughs> I was so excited. Alright, so the next step is going to be eyeliner. And I'm going to take my Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner that has seriously shrunk <laughs> since I've had it. I love this stuff. I am going to go repurchase it as soon as I can because it is almost gone. And apply it to my waterline. I apply it a little to my lower lash line. And then I take this smudger brush from Elf, I do believe, yeah, an Elf smudger brush. And I just smudge it out under my lower lash line. I find, oh, that, I find that this gives more of a cat eye effect. That I really like. And then I tight line with this as well. I don't know if I can do this in camera though. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And my mascara that I've been using lately is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express. I really like this. It's um really easy to work with and it makes my lashes makes my lashes look amazing. So that was just two coats of the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express mascara. And as you can Maybe. See, I don't know if you can. I got some mascara on my eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that blending brush that I took that Naked 2 color on. I'm just going to gently run this through the crease. I did let it dry for a few seconds. And you can easily whisk it away and be done with it. 
All right, some lash line. I'm going to go back in with the Naked 2 color on a pencil brush. Now this pencil brush does have some other colors mixed in on it because like I said, all of my brushes need to be washed. So mine might come out a little darker if you want a darker under eye and you have the Naked Basics, go in with the second darkest brown. I think that's called Fawn. Yeah, go in with Fawn. Or any deep toned brown will do. You don't have to use the Naked to the Naked Basics. So I'm just going to go in with Naked 2. And I'm just going to drag that under my lash line right where my liner stops. Right where I created that cat eye effect. Right where that stops, I'm just going to take it and drag it almost all the way in. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my mascara again and I'm going to do my bottom lashes. And then just to kind of freshen up my eyeliner, I'm going to go back in with my Perversion pencil. And I'm just going to freshen up my waterline a little bit. Because I like a really dark waterline. And if you get any like mascara down here, just take a Q-tip and kind of whisk it away like we did with the eyeshadow. And then just to touch up my eyeshadow a little bit, I'm going to go back in with the Bomb Dude Single Eyeshadow. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. I'm just going to blot it right there. Right on my lid. There we go. Then for eyebrows, I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I'm pretty sure this is an ash. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm just going to take this gel right here, this pomade consistency. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Finished off my brows, I'm going to go in with Benefits Give Me Brow in light to medium, I do believe. Yeah, light to medium. And I'm just going to run this through my brows. Alright, and then I'm going to go back in with my Naked Basics palette. And I'm going to take this angled eyeshadow brush. It's just a no name. Whoa, really close, sorry. I'm going to go in with Foxy right there, just because it's closer to my skin tone. And I'm just going to put that as my highlight shade. feeling when you just hit pan on an eyeshadow. I literally just hit pan on Foxy. I'm sad now. <laughs> I've had this palette for years, like right after it first came out. And then again for my Naked Basics palette, I'm going to go in with Venus right there. And I'm just going to take a lip brush that I used for my inner corner. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my inner corner. Just because this is such a dark makeup look with a dark eyeshadow and dark liner, I want to kind of widen my eye a little bit more. And we're almost done to finish off the makeup look. I'm going to take my Aroma Water from Lush, and I'm going to use it as a makeup setting spray, even though that's technically not what it's for. It's a toner water, but it still works. And let that dry. Okay, so after... My setting spray has dried. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go in and finish off with the lips. I'm taking NYX's Lip Liner in Rose. Just because it's the closest shade that I have. And I'm going to overdraw my lips. Because I have a smaller. When you're looking at my mouth. I have a smaller upper lip than I do bottom lip. So I try to make them balance as much as they can. So after I finished draw lining my lips and filling them in all the way, I'm going to go in with this KCO Colors lipstick that I got in my Ipsy bag. And it's in the shade Naturally Born Beauty. Alright, so I applied this the day I did this makeup look. And I love the color, love the packaging, loved everything about it. And then I went to go freshen up my lipstick before I went to my other job. And this happened. <laughs> the lipstick's still in there. I love the color. Love everything about it, love the formula, love everything, except for the packaging fell apart. 
I don't know if I can like super glue it back together, but I don't think I will ever purchase from this company, like ever again. Um, just because their packaging is cheap, obviously. I mean, I literally applied it. The second time I applied this lipstick, it fell apart in my hands. And I'm like, what is up with that? But anyway, I'm just going to apply it from this until it's gone because I do really love the color, but I won't re I won't purchase a full like I won't purchase it with my own money. I'm just gonna take this and apply it to my lips. So I'm gonna put it back in its nice little cheap packaging. And I'm gonna clean up around my lip area with a Q tip. And there it is. That is my full face makeup look with using all of my Ipsy products from the April Glam Bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it on your social media, anything that would really help me out a lot. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!